Hello and welcome to the second battle pass that the TLM has released, which is aptly named as Season 1. Which makes complete sense if uh if uh it's 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 working as as intended. Now the glorious battle pass is back, and the first thing you will get if you buy it is the FP45 Liberator. This gun is actual trolling in the most of evil of ways, and will become a meme for sure. Anyway, it has 240 RPM, but don't let that fool you, since it is a single bullet pistol with 5 seconds of reload time. God help your special soul if you do decide to use this thing, since it probably does less damage per second when sneezing at your enemies. But hey, you will have a moral high ground of saying that you're not compensating with it. Helmets is also something you get, but honestly they look like stock unless you have a thing for nets on your head. Hey, I don't judge. Maybe if you are swimming in rivers, you might also catch some fish. Profit. Your happiness will not end with the next delight, being the plain skins, which look alright, but for some reason Soviet one has a red nose. Maybe it's a Santa Claus reindeer cosplay a bit too late? Also, I'm kinda guessing I'm showing you the green color trail which you can get on tier 10. So now I have a choice for which chemtrail you'd like to cover if you had the previous battle pass. Next up is the tracers, which unfortunately can be given to FP45 Liberator, but it can be given to SMGs, LMGs and ARs. Although from limited testing it basically doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So unfortunately we will need to wait for a little bit longer for the full Star Wars update. Do it! Semi-automatic rifles are also getting some love, but in the smallest possible way. Honestly, just look into this. Like in some weather settings, you can literally mistake these for a stock ammo. So late in the battle pass, this feels a little bit out of place. If you like the truck APCs, you will get some questionable camo for those, so you can look exquisite whenever driving across fields. And not so much anywhere else. Vehicles such as Diesel, Kettenkrad and T20 also get relatively close camo to boot. But I think they just kinda got the short straw here because of the popularity of the Diesel compared to the other two. Overall, the color scheme does look a bit autumn-like instead of spring and feels a bit off. But I guess I'm nitpicking here. Medium tanks also get the same treatment, but on tier 2 tanks of all three factions. What doesn't look alright to me is the BDSM mask. Excuse me, what the fuck? I mean, uh, recon mask. Yup, totally. Yes, the long campaign for be the, uh, recon masks are here. I cannot believe they're here, and probably neither are you. Unless, of course, you're the one guy that has a uh, interesting taste. Now, up next would be the chemtrails, but I've already shown you that, so let's just skip it towards the light tank skins, which, fairly enough, unlock later than medium tank skins in the battle pass. Is it just me, or some things are a little bit backwards in the TLM universe? And last but not least, thrift shop camos for your soldier! Do you want to look like a granddad? Do you like shopping at thrift shops? Well, these skins are for sure for you! Although it really depends on the weather setting whether they look good or not, or it looks like they have been slightly used and probably pissed in. Now for all the miscellaneous boring stuff, you get a bunch of boosters and 10k credits as well as war funds, but that is not all. You also get a veteran membership for every rank of battle pass, so value wise it's actually not that terrible of an idea to pick this one up, considering it costs the same as the season 0 of battle pass. Moving on from the battle pass, there are a couple of RTS changes, removing and adding some capitals. At this current point it's hard to predict how it will change the outlook of RTS, but hopefully we're going to have the map split in thirds, at least at the beginning of the war. But frankly, these changes have really been overdue, and yeah, I think they're very much appreciated at this point. And that would be all from the thrift shop update. Did you like what's in the update? Are you going to dress like a granddad? Are you glad that the current PC technology will not be able to simulate the granddad's clothes smell? Let me know in the comments, and thank you TLM Overseers for this incredible game. I'll see you in the next one.